Hey, it's Luke with Auto Darts. I'm going to show you how to tune your settings on your board. Now, the board comes pre-programmed, as do the ESCs, so they are all ready to use right out of the box. So essentially what we're talking about today is how to set the threshold for the current sensing for your blaster. That's so that the pack turns on automatically when your blaster revs up and how to set your actual fan speed. This has caused a little bit of confusion, so I wanted to make a second video to make it really clear and show this on camera exactly how you set this up. So I'm gonna set this blaster aside, but I'll leave the trigger here because you're gonna notice me setting that up. This one has not been connected in, but we're going to plug our blaster in. We're also gonna connect our 3S battery. Uh, I've just fully charged this, but remember to put a LiPo alarm on at any time you're using this. Those chimes you're hearing there are from the ESC. The first set is indicating that it has power. The second set is indicating that it has signal and it is ready to go. So I'm gonna punch in a little, get a little closer here. Ooh, let's, sorry, that was too much. So you've got two knobs here. The first is the threshold and the second is the high. Now the threshold is the current sensing. So that's the amount of of current required to sense it. If you go far enough, it will actually, in theory, start activating. So you wanna dial it back. I'm all the way clockwise on this first one. And I'm gonna dial it back just slightly. And then I'm gonna rev my blaster. If you have done it correctly, they will both activate. Now, just to show you, if this was turned all the way down, or let's say just a 180 degree turn, Eventually, if you go too low, you won't see it turn on. Now, the reason this is adjustable is that if you happen to have electronics that are constantly drawing power, such as lighting or a uh, control board or some other sort of screen on your blaster, you would need this to not turn on when you're not revving. So you want the amount of current to match the actual load of your flywheel. So essentially, you're just gonna turn this all the way up until it's not activating on its own like that. So I'm just dialing it back. <laughs> If both your fan and your auger are spinning and activating, then you are ready to go. Now to adjust the actual fan speed, you're going to use the high. When this is in the left position, the farthest counterclockwise, that is all the way here, that's the fastest position. But the easiest thing to do is just to set this on a table, rev your blaster and adjust the fan speed until you have it where you want it. If this is set too low, the fan won't spin at all. If it's set too high, there's no really real downside to that other than you're wasting more battery power than you would need to. So I generally will set this up to the max speed and then dial it back just 10% or so. And I'm doing that audibly. So I'm going to rev here. And this is a little awkward. I normally do this kind of on a table with my arm holding this in place, but I'll show you here. We're basically, I'm gonna play with this dial and you'll hear it. <laughs> So what I did there was just rev and dial that the high, which is the fan speed, up and down until I got to where I wanted to be. I found the max position and then just pulled back on that a little bit because you definitely don't need it on high unless you are doing something with an extra long tube. If you do find you have any problems with feeding and you think it might be due to a restricted hose, then you're gonna wanna dial that all the way up. But in our testing for up to a four foot hose, there's no need to have it on full power. Uh, I generally will have it just about what I would consider 90%, but it's a little bit subjective because I'm just doing that based on the pitch as it drops down. Uh, most people will only need about a three foot hose, maybe three and a half. So uh, it's gonna have no problem pushing that many balls. I hope this video helped. Pretty simple to set up, but I can understand it's a little bit confusing because if you've got one, if you don't have the threshold set properly first and you try to set the fan speed, it's not going to give you uh, an accurate readout. If you ever wire this up and you have got stuttering of your motor and none of these settings change it, then you may want to investigate that you've got your actual uh, brushless ESC wires correct. The three do need to be in the correct order as per the tutorial. Thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Until next time, I'm out of darts.